My name is Liza from Liza Loves Books and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. It would really mean so much to me. I would really appreciate it. And if you're not new here, welcome back. Happy Wednesday. For today's video, I thought I'd talk about my favorite books with cinnamon roll heroes or my favorite characters with cinnamon roll heroes. I got this idea from watching Ava from Ava's Romance books, Bree from In Love and Words, and Jen from the Book Refuge. They did a cinnamon, a cinnamon, a cinnamon roll hero recommendation video a couple months back, and I finally have enough characters to. I finally have enough characters and books to do this video. So here we go. The first book I want to mention or the first hero is Always Only You by Chloe Elise. It is Ren Bergman. It is a hockey romance. It has disability rep. Frankie, the heroine Frankie has autism. And and chronic pain I forgot what the time multiple I forgot what the chronic pain was but Ren has been in love with Frankie since he started the hockey team and he is the ultimate sweetheart hero he has a book club he, he reads poetry. He is so in love with Frankie. But he is a pining hero. He would do anything for Frankie. That's why I put Ren Bergman on my list for Cinnamon Roll Heroes. And the next book, and it's... It's my one of my favorite books of the year, and that is Heartless by Elsie Silver. Cade is a synodom because he because he would do anything for Willa. He would do anything for Willa and his son. I recommended Heartless a whole bunch of times in my channel, but that doesn't matter because Kane fits the role for me for a cinnamon roll hero. He would do anything for Willa when Willa doubts when Willa has doubts of what she wants to do with her life because her all her her mother and her father all have good careers their her father is famous her brother's career skyrocketed and willa has doubts about her career and what she wants to do with her life and Kate is always there to reassure her, like, you'll figure out what you want to do. You are great the way you are. And Kate puts Willa on a pedestal. 
he worships her the same way Ben Bergman worships Frankie. Another book I want to recommend to you or another character I would love to recommend to you is In the Weeds by B.K. Borison. It's the second book in her Love Light Farm series and my my favorite hero is Beckett. Beckett has social anxiety. He doesn't do well with large crowds, but he will go to a large crowd. He, he will be in an uncomfortable situation if it means being with the heroine. Love in the weeds is the is the second chance romance. Beckett is the farmer for Love Light Farms, and Evelyn, her name's Evelyn, is the social media star that in book one that helped Love Light Farms get back on track. But, but. Beckett calls her, her name's Evelyn, but Beckett calls her Evie. But Beckett and Evelyn had a one night stand, and after that, Evelyn left. And they, they are surprised to meet again in book one. But in, in their book, Evelyn is very burnt out about her famous job in social media. So she wants to take a break from her job. And I love the town people that Love Light Farms has because when Evie goes to check in to the to the inn in town in Love Life Farms, the inn the innkeeper or the manager tells her that they have no more rooms left so though so they can't take her in. But you know what she tells her that Beck, but that Beckett has a spare room in his house, so they know that Beckett has a thing for Evie. So they're trying to push them together. So it's forced proximity. The grand gestures Beckett does for Evie in this. Was spectacular. I love this book so much. And you get Beckett's POV and Love Life Forms. You just get the perspective of the heroine. But in this one, you get both perspective of the hero and heroine. And I forgot to mention in my wrap up last time that there is disability rep. Beckett's father is in a wheelchair. So please check love in the weeds out the next book i want to recommend to you or the next character i should say is caleb from mixed signals caleb would do anything for layla layla is the chef he's been secretly pining for her and they come up and cave and Caleb saves Layla. Layla is the chef at Love Life Farms. Gate. She owns and the bakery. He strikes up a bargain with her that instead of dating all these bad guys, bad dates, I'll date you for one month 
to show you how you're supposed to be treated and then you date me and give me critiques and to figure out why the women I always date always dumps me first because every time they give Caleb the excuse that he is too much so but Caleb has been secretly pining for Layla from afar well, he goes into her bakery every day and there's this one scene in the book where Layla is supposed to get featured in a magazine article her bakery is and her baked goods but something happens in the book that all the things Layla made for the bakery got destroyed. And that's when Caleb steps into action to save Layla and to save her interview. The next book I want to recommend to you is... Next to You by Hannah Bottom Young. I read this book because of Caitlin the Love Librarian. And it is about the best friends of the previous book, Next of Kin. Chloe and Matt. They're at a... They're at a New Year's Eve party. Um, Chloe and Matt share a New Year's Eve kiss, but Chloe is not in a space to deal with a romantic relationship, so they decide to stay friends. It's a year later, and, and Chloe and Matt have been friends all year long like all this time and the th the part where Lane was screwed her her name is Lane not Chloe Lane was struggling because she thinks that she's struggling with her dad's death because she thinks her dad dies her dad died and she thinks it's her fault so she thinks she's not in a position to date anyone. And Mark is tired of waiting for her. So they, he strikes up a bargain with her. Telling her they will just be friends with benefits. That he's not going to fall in love with her. And... When I tell you Mark can write his butt off because when because when Lane needed space, needed time away from their bargain, he he gives her space but then he writes to her. He writes to her about how much he's in love with her. And at the end, when Lainey, when Lane makes a grand gesture towards Matt, it is so swoony. But Matt is definitely a cinnamon roll hero. The last book I want to recommend to you is Tis the Season to be Jolly. It is a Christmas romance. I read this book because it's of called Christy Tis the Season for Christy Revenge. Reads, Christy reads a lot and it is about Abby whose whose boyfriend dumps her the day before the day of she was supposed to go to his Christmas his Halloween work function and he dumps her at the side of the road and she calls her friends 
but her friends are telling her, you don't need to be sad, Abby, because uh, your boyfriend wasn't treating you right. So, and so her friends kind of opened her eyes about how she's been treated over the years, and they signed her up to a dating app. And the person she is matched with is her ex-boyfriend's boss. And her friends tell her, this is a good opportunity. They date his boss, get invited to the next year's Christmas party, and get your revenge on your douche of an ex-boyfriend. So... Abby dates the boss. His name is Damien, but she, but she realizes that Damien is such a nice guy, and that and that her ex boyfriend has been telling her lies about how mean his boss was to him, and he just treats her so differently. Like she really. He really, he really brings her up, like, tells, tells her how important her job is because she's a makeup artist and all her ex-boyfriend ever did was belittle her and the work she loved to do. But Damien, is, but Damien is so different. He, he brings her up, and it was such a sweet romance. Damien is such a sweetheart hero. If you want to read a Christmas romance, please read to the season for revenge. Those are my recommendations for sweetheart heroes or a uh, cinnamon roll heroes. Let me know down in the comments below what who are your favorite cinnamon, cinnamon roll heroes. I would really love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Press the like button. That would mean so much to me. Bye. I'll see you Wednesday.